you're welcome to my channel mindset academy where we want to solve a problem involving low high problems in this aspect of low high problems we'll be looking at an um, elica spring right and the question goes like this it says draw two complete turns of a right hand elica spring 76 millimeter mean diameter, 48 millimeter pitch made from 16 millimeter diameter wire. Right now, the first thing you need to do is for you to understand where it is facing. We are told here that it is what um, a right hand elica spring. So, for you to draw a right hand, that means you project your circle towards the what towards the left what did i mean now if i come here and i draw my vertical line at this point here right i draw my vertical line at this point here and i also draw my horizontal line too the same thing here and the diameter of the circle here is given to be 76 half of it is 38 so if i should measure half of it which is 38 in this manner 0 this is 30 38 is here is that the key and i place it at this point here if i should draw my circle this way if i should draw my circle this way Are we good? Now you'll see that we have two sides of the circle. This is the left hand side. This is what? The right hand side, right? So since we are told to draw um, a right hand elica spring, that means we ought to project it towards the left. Is that the key now? So what I'll just do here is, I'll just come to this point here, right? I will ignore this. So I'll come to this point. I'm going to draw my line this way. The vertical. All good. This point here. And I'm going to draw my circle. See the same measurement of 38, right? I'll come to this point. And I'll thicken it this way. Right? I'm going to thicken it this way. This is what I actually need. That I actually need. Since we are told it is what? It is right hand. So right hand means you are projecting the right side of the circle. Because this is the left hand and this is what? The right hand. So if I project here to this side, I am drawing left hand. But if I project here to this side, I am drawing right hand. That is why I moved it to this region here. Is that the key now? So I need to remove this now. So this is what we have here. I will now project this to this side. Let's project this downward this way. The first one here to this point here. You can see that? And we're not given that uh, it has 48 millimeter pitch. Right? Now, and we're told it is worth 2 tons. That means you put 48 millimeter in 2 places. Or you say 48 millimeter times what? Times 2. And that will be 96 right so we're having i will start doing my measurement let me use this so you get to see what i'm trying to do let me enlarge this in this manner you can see that so if i start taking my measurement from here it says 48 right so since this is two ton that means i'll measure from zero this is 40 this is 48 this is one ton if i come again from zero to another uh, 48 this is what two ton right if we are told to three ton i'll move again from that point from zero to what to 48 this is what three ton so if we are told three ton this is from here to here one ton from here to here another ton so making three ton right so everything here is a lead is that the key now 
So what I will now do is, I will now project this upward. Project this upward this way. Or before I do that, just project this upward. And cut this upward this way. That again. So this is three ton. If you are two two ton, you stop here. Just the measurement twice, meaning the measurement the pitch in two places. That is two ton. Three ton the pitch in three places. That is three ton. Now I will now divide the uh, into what into six, right? If I place my compass at this point from here to here, or mark up and down. I'll come here also. I'm going to mark here. And I'll come here also and I'm going to mark here. Are you with me? This is what we have here. So I'm going to join all those points together to the center. To the center. To the center. To the center you can see that so i can now see this is zero one two three four five six is that the key or i can start from zero upward whatever way i want to do it now after i've done that i'm going to project all these points to the last point here this to this this to this This to this and this to this. Can you see that? Now you know divide since you divide it into six, meaning that the full circle be into twelve. To divide each pitch into what? Into twelve. So if I take this from zero, right? I'll be taking that'll be forty eight divided by by twelve, right? That'll give us four each. I will good now four millimeter each. So from here from zero, I'll start my measurement. To this point is four. The next point is eight. The next point is what is twelve. The next point is sixteen. That is multiples of four. The next point is twenty. The next point is twenty-four. The next point is twenty-eight. The next point is what? 32. The next point at 6. The next point 40. The next point 44. Right? And the next point to be what? 48. This is what we have here. Is that again? I'll come again. I'll do from here also. From 0. Right? I'll come again. The first point 4. 8. 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, right? Then we have um, 32, 36, 40, 44, we have 48. All good? I'll come again. Do the same thing starting from zero. Um, we have multiple of four. This is four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty, twenty-four, right? Twenty-eight, thirty-two, thirty-six, forty, forty-four. I have what 48. You can use your line division method if you want to use it. It's another way of dividing your line. Now, since since it is an even number, I can divide it by 12. That is why. So I'm going to project each of this point upward. Each of this point, I'll project them what upward. Each of this point, I'll project them what upward.
So why I'm doing this is this is just three terms. So I can just start from here. This will be zero. Or I can make it up here. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, then twelve. Start again. That is one turn. There will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That is two turns again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That is what? Three turns. That is key. Or you can take it in a multiple of what? Multiple of six. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Another zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Just like that. That take it now. So if I move this to this zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Again to be seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And we have what? This is call it thirteen. That again, this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Since I'm starting with what? With 0. That again. So I'll move forward and I'll start. I'll start again. Um, now let's move. So from here, I'll start. Starting from the top, where 0 meet zero is here where one meets one is here where two meet two is here just like that three meet three four meet four five meet five six meet six right start again going up again uh seven go here eight this is 9, 10, 11, and 12. That is one revolution. So one revolution means one turn. Are you with me? Another one again. Another one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. No two point must be on the line. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and what? 12. This is another turn here. They will have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. This is another turn. So we have three turn. Is that taken now? So I can say that from this point, from here. So this point here, this is one turn, then the next one again, another turn, then to the next one again, another turn. Let me just close it up. We have three turns. Though the question is telling us two turn, I'm only doing three turn to give you a better understanding. Right? This is one turn. Right, this is two turn. This is three turn. That the key, and I can call it. This is pitch one, pitch two, pitch three. So let's proceed. Now we're not given that. It has a wire of what sixteen millimeter diameter. So I'll use my compass and I'll measure half of 16, which is what? Which is 8. So from 0 to 8 is here. Right? From 0 to 8 is here. And I'll place it at each of those points and draw a circle, faint line across those points this way.
So, you know, we have drawn your wire across each of those points here. Now, the next thing is you now draw a curve with your French curve that is tangential to those points, right? So, this is what I'm going to do on those points there. Right, tangential to those points. So, if I should come here. Mm -hmm. So we have here, and this will just be an heading line. This is an elica spring having um three tons so begin so I successfully drawn the three tons this is the first tone second tone and third tone right and since the question said we have um pitch 36 millimeter pitch so from here to here is at six in three places everything from here to here is giving us what the lead so if you found this video helpful please don't forget to like subscribe and also share the video. Thanks for watching.